Hello humans, as always, this is Lopin Thread back for another episode of Jurassic World on Minecraft. So last episode we con we were containing the disasters and this episode what we're gonna do is we are going to release the dinosaurs. So but right now I'm new to the game. I have uh like I have a general idea of the entire island, but I'm like I'm not so sure how, what road to take and what to place. So yes, we have the Gallimimus Valley, at which we are just going to place smaller dinosaurs, I guess. I honestly don't know. I might have to reform this entire thing. I might do that later on because right now the Gallimimus Valley is suitable for Gallimimus, but nothing for pretty much else. So yes, so we're going to get past that. I wish there was an uh, ability where we could ride the helicopter, so... Uh, down there's the Spino, which we placed, and we're gonna get up, keep going around there. Okay, we aren't gonna place anything by the golf course. We might have to go to the north of the island, which is where we are going to... Oh, but first of all, I think uh, we are, we'll have to start placing with the compies, right? We'll have to spawn in the compies for, uh, you know, for, uh, for one... We need to populate them throughout the entire island. That's because that's what they did with the um, uh, in Jurassic Park. So because they're good for really getting rid of trash, right? So all right, compies. Let's get those spawned in. Okay, so they they're gonna grow up here and they're gonna. Uh, uh, they're gonna be uh, all around the uh, park, so great. So we're gonna uh, place two of them here. That'll be great. So and the rest of all, we're gonna slowly move throughout the park as we place them. So uh, I also contained that Carnotaurus from last time. So. I'm not so sure where the carnotaurus goes. The thing with carnivores dinosaurs is that they actually don't have like a designated paddock, so we just can have them really like run around in the wild, I guess. Since like I've been told that they are around the Java Spear era. Uh, in the book, they're uh, related to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. From what I've read, the carnotaurus is actually at the Java Spear area, but I don't know how I'm supposed to take that because you know it's pretty obvious. Pro park brochure, what's that? I, re I don't remember getting that. Uh, uh, didn't we capture a Carnotaurus? Ah, oh, yes, there it is, okay. I'm guessing this doesn't work on creative. Uh, yes. Okay. Well then, we have a still. We still got a Carnotaurus there, which we're gonna place. Damn it! I should have done it on survival. I am on survival. Okay. Never mind. Uh, exhibit has been knocked down. We go fix it. Oh my god! This this guy. These guys are just bombarding with all me all these with all these disasters. I don't know if I can even handle this for frick's sake. All right. Well, uh, I'm at least, I am at the gyrosphere, so, yes, there it is. So, guessing, oh. There's something here, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, so. Uh, yes, it broke down, the aviary broke down, it, it was this part of that actually broke down, and... How do we fix this? Uh, yes, I'm aware, but how do I fix this? Like, the game gives me no instructions whatsoever. And it just... Wrench? Ah! Ha! Huh. Yes! All right, two activated disasters uh, remaining. Great. So we also had the saboteurs, right? Uh, that's that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and get that Carnotaurus a few more friends. 
if if they if the Condors just go out of control if they run Amok, then we well we can just tranquilize them. So. Uh, right now they're just baby. So great. So. I'll spawn in three of them, so so that the people can actually see that they're actually there. So, I'm just gonna name them Connor one, two, and three because I'm not good at giving names. So, and I'm guessing at, with down by the river we have to place the Dilophosauruses since that's where they were in the novel. So, off we go into the water. Gonna place them on the other side here. Okay, Comsognatus eggs, uh, Velociraptor eggs, uh, Stegosaurus we're gonna place by the Jarvis Bay, a uh, Dilophosaurus eggs, So, Dilophosaurus? And I think there were seven of them in the book, right? So, there we go, seven Dilophosaurus. So, yes, yeah, I remember reading the novel and uh, having seven Dilophosauruses on engines list. So we, that's why we're gonna have seven Dilophosauruses here as well. Oh, there is our Spino. Uh, okay, that things have been going pretty great. So let's see. Um, oh, we can destroy uh, trees. Okay, great. So now we need to take care of the saboteurs, right? So let's go over here. Okay. Okay, now that's the garage. Oh, I see. I, I I arrived from there. Okay, I see. So, okay, there's the innovation center, I think. Uh, can we just jump down? Yes, I don't think this game has any fall damage. Great. So, we're just going to go ahead and run through this place, I guess. I will also have to try and figure out... Uh, Gallimimus Valley. Oh, okay. We should actually close that. Yes. So, oh, uh, we got that actually handled. That was actually a disaster, technically, because you know the paddock was open, but they aren't gonna take care of that. So I think we'll like it's so annoying. I want to uh I want to move around like uh like literally in survival, but it like it the game really doesn't give me a better option to move around the island. So, let's see, there's, uh, there's Spino and there's the trike area. Wait, speaking of trikes, uh, isn't this the Gyrospear Valley? No, I think this here is Violent Storm, uh, track its path, uh, while there's storms, disasters may be more frequent. God damn it. Just, couldn't you just allow me for a second... God damn it. Alright then, let's let's head back. And the game's also ever every time the it moves, the game lags like I, I don't know, like hell unleashed, so I really can't there's nothing I can do about that as well. So control room. Okay, where's the storm? Okay, should we like shut down the park? Is that what we have to do? Okay, number of disasters where the, where those disasters are uh, reduced for uh, every disaster affecting the park. Okay There are the saboteurs Okay, west of the lagoon. So that's the storm and that's, uh, I guess the, uh, 
the I don't know the gyrus bit where the tracks are, uh, uh, where all the things are on the loose. Great. The thing is, at the control room, there's a really not much we can do. It, like you can you can see the disasters, but that doesn't help because that only works when you've like got the entire park in your head. But since that's not the case, uh, there's not really much I can do here. Since like they say there's an air balloon, but obviously there's a storm, so there's no point in trying to see that. So okay, let's see. Aviary Treehouse downtown. Okay, Jarvis, let's uh, let's release the Stegosaurus and call it a day, shall we? So, uh, the Carnotaurus eggs, these can go back into the um, Velociraptor, I can do that next time. Stegosaurus, yes. Okay. Jarvis, beer. Off we go. Okay, so... It really feels like a sticker book where the, all the pages in blank week and we need to fill them in with dinosaurs. Okay. We're just going to place a few around here. Hatch a few. Wild Tyrannosaurus Rex. Are you crazy? Oh my god. So anyways guys, I think we're going to end this episode here. So if you have enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time. May the Jurassic Strip with you. Bye bye.